Gaming Dad. Hello, commuter folks. This is Gaming Dad, and welcome to my Steam library. Today, I'm going to be showing you a game called Mini Metro. It's a puzzle strategy game developed by Dinosaur Polo Club, which must be the best name for a game dev studio ever. It was released in November 2015. What stands out the most about Mini Metro is its design. It's very minimalistic, it's very clean. Shapes represent stations, lines are train lines, little rectangle are trains, and the tiny shapes around the bigger station shapes are passengers, and their shape indicate which destination type they want to go to. The aim of the game is simple. You need to build the most efficient train transportation network without getting a station to become overcrowded. To do that, you build train lines, assign trains to them, assign upgrades like carriages, tunnels and transfer stations. Every Sunday you receive a new train and a new upgrade. As I said, the game ends if one of the stations becomes overcrowded. There are three game modes, normal, which I just described, extreme, where the lines you draw are permanent, and endless, which doesn't have an end condition, and you get upgrades based on how many passengers you can transport rather than every Sunday. There's multiple maps to play in, and they differ in their layout, and some of them have a bit of special conditions, like smaller trains, more stations, less stations, and so forth. So, what's good about the game? It's a nice small game, it's really fun, and it takes about half an hour to play through one level. So it's kind of a filler uh, game. If it was a board game, then it would be a filler game. Another good part about Mini Metro is its beautiful and consistent art, art directions. It's really... it feels nice looking at this game for a while. So, what's bad about it? Nothing really. Uh, it's not a big game, so we're not expecting thousands of hours of a campaign and great story. So it's uh, it's fun for what it is. Should you buy it? Yes, you absolutely should. I actually convinced uh, my coworkers to get it, and they liked it very much, so much that we challenged each other on leaderboards to get the bigger scores uh, on different maps. So go forth and get Mini Metro if you didn't. And if you did, just play it a little bit more because it's fun. This was Gaming Dad and my Steam library. So long!